How is it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm playing build a boat and float for treasure and I'm going to be explaining how to build a car because some of you didn't like my other guide. They said that they wanted a more in-depth guide so I'm just going to show you how to do it from beginning to end. So it's actually really easy to build a car. Um, so what you're going to need to do is put down your wheels. Now I am kind of speed building this car, so bear with me. It's not going to be like a perfect car. This is just so that you guys understand the video. So what I meant by you have to build a little like axis for the car is you can build as big as a car as you want. Um, they give you some blocks that you can use to build a car. But you don't have to use those blocks. You can actually modify it and build it however you would like. So as you can see, I'm building one out of marble here. And I'm going to go ahead and add some wheels on both sides. Now what you have to do is actually add in a spring on all of the wheels. Every single wheel must have a spring and it must be placed correctly. Like, I think that one's kind of... Oh no, it's just a wheel. All right. The next thing is you want to place these parts and you want to place these on the axis of the car. Next, you actually build the car. So this is where your creativity comes into play. But since this is just a tutorial video and I don't want it to go on for 30 minutes because it's already been going on for a good amount of time now as you guys could already tell by watching. So... What I'm going to do is just build a very basic kind of crappy looking car. And the next thing that I'm going to do, you see how there's no hinge points added on to the car yet? What I'm going to be doing is adding in the driver's seat. I have so many parts it's hard to find it. I probably passed it already. It's kind of near the top. I know. There it is. Alright, so once you add in your driver's seat, you see how all of these like lines came into the game? Those are hinges. So I'm going to go ahead and launch, and now I have a car, so now I can actually drive. Um, but you see, whenever you build a boat like this, you see how you're always tipping over and falling over when you stop, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. What I'm going to do is go ahead and reset here, and I'm not going to actually build this in a whole video because it's going to, it will take some time, and it doesn't actually have to be exactly how I built my boat. You can build your own custom car. But what I've done is I've found a way to modify the car so it's pretty stabilized. And all I did was build two pieces that connects the car. So it's kind of like a guardrail almost on both sides of the car. And I have went ahead and attached it. Now whenever I launch on this boat, if you notice, I could go full speed. Now I don't have the white. It's best to if get on the white team if you have a boat because otherwise you have to wait for your car to turn. But as you can see, because I have this, I'm going to go ahead and go straight now. And it's going to push me towards the yellow person's base. Now watch, I'm going to throw it in reverse and I can back out back onto the sea. You see how the boat isn't tipping over? This is the best way to build a car. And you don't have to build it exactly like this, like I said. But all it is is you need stabilizers on both sides and on in the back and the front. So you need stabilization. Now this doesn't keep you from falling over if you tip sideways so yeah hopefully uh you guys like this video if you did leave a like leave a comment and subscribe